Now to the latest on the coronavirus. The death toll now stands at 170 with more than 6,000 cases reported. The CDC releasing new images of what the virus looks like. Right now, 195 Americans evacuated from the Chinese city at the center of the outbreak are being monitored for the illness. They're staying at a U.S. military base in Southern California. The evacuees stepped off the jet at March Air Reserve Base in Marina Valley, California, where they were taken into isolation. A ground crew wearing white protective gear handled their luggage. We are going to monitor them for the full extent of their incubation period. The U.S. government chartered the flight to get 195 Americans, including U.S. diplomats, out of Wuhan, the Chinese city at the center of the coronavirus outbreak. The passengers were screened for signs of illness before they left China and again when the plane landed in Alaska to refuel. During the course of these screening processes, we check for symptoms that would be concerning of the novel coronavirus, including fever, cough, and other respiratory symptoms. The passengers will remain at the base for 72 hours. If anyone becomes ill, they'll be transported to a nearby hospital. The virus has sickened thousands in China and killed more than 100 people. Some major airlines, including British Airways, have canceled all flights to China, a move the Trump administration is keeping a close eye on. I think that was a British Airways corporate decision, not a, a, a decision by the UK government. But uh, we're, again, we're monitoring this situation very closely and we'll work with our airline partners. The World Health Organization praised China's response to the outbreak. They are taking extraordinary measures in the face of what is an extraordinary challenge. At the airbase, health officials say they're taking measures, keeping the passengers away from all military personnel. And we learned today Monterey County has tested three people for the coronavirus. Already one of those cases have come back negative. Nationwide, there are only five confirmed cases of the virus, with U.S. health, health officials saying that the threat to the public remains low.